I know the excitement about the book coming out. How excited are you about it? And, and just kind of let people know about the book a little bit. Well, it's really amazing. You know, I've, I've coached since I was 23, and, and that's all I've pretty much ever done. And, you know, I have a passion for children's books. Um, my sister always gave me a children's book for Christmas every year. And uh, there's there's hidden stories for adults in children's book. And uh, I said, you know, I, I have all this time on, on the bus when we go to away games. So I, uh, I, wrote, I wrote a book. Uh, I talked to Mercer Press about it, Mark Jolly, and... They've never published a children's book before, so this is a first for them. And But the key was, as you know, for a children's book is to get a good illustrator. Right. And a friend of mine is an artist in Gainesville, Florida, uh, and she decided that she would do the illustrating for me. And I think she's an amazing artist, and she kind of pulls the story together okay. with her artwork. But it's just been so much fun to meet so many different people in Macon, going out to read it to schools and seeing the media specialist in the in the. Um, principals and all the children I mean it's really really been fun and you're having a signing this this weekend at Barnes and Noble that's got to be exciting. right book. Saturday I think it's one to four I'm gonna read it actually read it at one and then hopefully people will show up <laughs> and, uh, I don't have to sign it but if okay. they want me to I will but um, you know that, that's gonna be new I mean I've never done this before but I, I, I it's just really fun meeting people in Macon that maybe I wouldn't normally meet as a, as a basketball coach and then them seeing me in a different light uh, rather than just being on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, I was going to, you know, that's got to be an exciting part to just new way for people to see you and you can get to new, meet new people I mean, and, and help grow the brand of your program as well, I would imagine. Well, you know, that's one thing, and, and that's an, an area I don't want to get, get caught up in this book being about me. Right. And that's kind of, it's kind of, a, I guess, a cute story because the college basketball coach has written, written a children's book. But I really want the message to get out there. You know, I, I wish every kid in Macon could have a, a book in their home if they don't already you know um, but I think it's a pretty good message I mean it teaches about being a good teammate about teamwork you know not being selfish it's it's interactive so when we go read it to the schools the children that I'm reading it to can can yell out team <laughs> when I prompt them to right. yell it out so they're, they're very attentive um, but I just want the message to get out there more than the the direct hit on Susie Gardner wrote a book. And you, you've, it's been a big part of your time here with the book drive and everything. I mean, that's just really important to you. Isn't it? Right. Last year, we, we collected 1,700 books, um, which was outstanding. And so it was fun delivering those. And it just happens that, because this has been a year and a half process. I right. Mean, you know, it takes a while to get a book published and all the behind the scenes things. So this didn't just happen overnight. So it was in process, progress last year when we were doing the book drive. 